Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Saturdays all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my May book haul, and I'm so excited. We are in the month of June, halfway through 2019. It's crazy, but yeah. So I don't have a lot of things, thankfully, um, this month. I did purchase a few but then I equally got the same kind of amount of books sent to me for review so I'm gonna run through that so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is from Our Daily Bread you guys know I normally have things from Our Daily Bread or Joyce Myers always will be something from Our Daily Bread but um this time around I have the In Pursuit of John series this is episodes three and four I think last month on the month previously I shared that they sent me episodes one and two so this is three and four I think it, there are maybe three more episodes left five six seven yeah so there are three more episodes left so hopefully they will have um this in the next media club again if you guys are interested in joining their media club sometimes they send little snippets like this like their series in parts or they send you a full dvd and um it's free to join up i know last time i posted the wrong link i found the right link this time um they call it something else it's called the media club for um like the out of country people the international people sorry <laughs> it's called the media club for international people but for people who are in the united states it's it's something completely different so i will put the link down below if you're international and if you're within the state so you can sign up for it it's completely free to sign up and um yeah they send you something almost every month i think every month or every other month but um yeah i have in the pursuit of john and i cannot wait i have not started them i have in the pursuit of paul i have in the pursuit of peter but because they came out with john i'm waiting to get my hand on the complete collection of john before i jump in because you guys know Oh, I love John so much. Just love John. But we have this DVD. And then the next five items I actually purchased for, to, for myself for my birthday. They make birthday gifts to myself. Um, a lot of you guys were kind of upset because I didn't mention my birthday. So my birthday was on June 3rd this past Monday. And I turned 28. And I know I don't look it, but the Lord is preserving my youth, which I am ever grateful for. But yes, I am 28 years old. And yeah. There was a whole lot of emotions going up into my 28th birthday. I did vlog on my birthday, um, just telling you guys, like, my thoughts and what I was thinking the weeks prior to my birthday and stuff like that. Because it was really an emotional, kind of mental, um, it, it was something just going on with me emotionally and mentally, knowing that I'm almost two years to 30. And, um, I talked about it in the video. I didn't edit the video yet, so if you guys would like to see that video, um, and just see my thoughts and stuff where I was mentally... Um, just let me know and I can edit that and then upload it for you guys. I do have the footage. I just haven't edited it because I don't know if I want to upload it or not. But I purchased these five things for myself because I said, you know what? I wanted these things for a long time and I deserve them. So I bought them. <laughs> so the first two items are Zebra Mount Liner Highlighters. I love these things. So I have the 15 count here. So these are the original ones that they came out with. And then they came out with two additional packs. So the first ones were the Fluorescent Mild the warm and the cool and then they came out with new ones so they have this one which they called friendly um and these are the colors they're really really pretty i'm like obsessed with this cayenne this cayenne and this apricot i think it's called no this one is is it the apricot or marigold i don't know but i'm obsessed with these two colors here and then this one which is called the brights i'm loving this color it's coming up blue on camera they consider it lavender but it's really like a purple i really really like that color in this summer green gorgeous but um yeah i have these i do have swatches of all of these on index cards here i'm gonna do a complete like video review on these zebra mild liner highlighters these are amazing i know a lot of people that do bullet journaling get these i like these in my bibles they're perfect for underlining highlighting just everything i love these so much i highly recommend them they recently came out with brush tip versions um they are dual ended let me show you guys so um you know they have the chiseled and then the pointed they have now the uh brush tip ones which come with a brush tip like the calligraphy brush pens and then the fine tip which is a lot finer than this one which is so great so i'm working on getting those they're not in america right now they're only in japan so you can get them on ebay but they're like 33 dollars for the pack of like 15. um they will be in the states uh, August 1st, if I'm not mistaken. So August 1st, we can order them from the States, which I'm probably going to do. You can get them on Amazon. I think they're like 25 bucks. I'm going to try to find that link and you can just pre-order it. And I'll leave the link down below because I know I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering them. And they basically come in the 15 original colors. So I'm excited about that. If you guys don't know, I'm like in love with these highlighters. Like other highlighters are great. 
These are my go-to, my favorites. I love them so much. But we have those. So I'm going to put these here for a second. And I got these for like $6, $7. They're not expensive um, on Amazon. You can get the 15-pack count of the Zebra Mouth Liners with the other original 15 colors. Um, you can get them in Target, Rite Aid, Rite Aid, <laughs> Target and Walmart. I think they're going to come out soon with the 25-count pack um, that you can purchase. So, again, I'll leave links to these for Amazon, and I'll find them for Target and hopefully Walmart as well. But I love these. I swear by these. They're amazing. Um, moving on, the next three books were books that I really, really have wanted for a long time. So, I purchased these on Amazon, but I went through their kind of... Um, used book section i've never purchased from amazon used book section but i oh i like used books i don't mind them as long as they're not completely damaged so i got all three of these from the used book section which is insane so this one is hannah obviously by michelle mclean walters i love this book well not this book this author um i have read ruth and esther she has deborah and anna i still need to read deborah and anna but i read esther loved it esther is something else that prompted me to start daughter of increase and then there's also um, Ruth, which was phenomenal. Um, so I'm excited to have this one now to add to the collection of her five books for this series. And I hope she comes out with more of these like these series because I feel like there's so much that we can learn from the women within the Bible. And the way her books are set up, they're kind of in a... I don't want to say devotional style study, but they really do go in depth on each woman and give you a different kind of perspective to look at things. So I enjoy these. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like five or six dollars actually i can tell you guys how much i paid for it so i'm going to tell you guys right now how much i paid for everything clearly because i can just open up my amazon app on my phone um i wasn't thinking about that though so go to my orders and um i did do prom shipping with all of these so for the zebra mount liners this one which is the green pack which is called the brights i paid i paid six dollars and fifty cents for this for the other Zebra Mouth liner pack that is in the orange color, which they call Friendly, I paid... Oh, no, we don't want to write a product review yet. <laughs> I paid uh, $6.99 for this. So, 7 bucks for this one and six fifty for this one. So, yeah, about $7, which is pretty good um, for the price. Moving on for Hannah. So, again, this book I did get from the used section. And you can tell it's used. It came with a bunch of stickers. Um, so, it had, like, a sticker over top here. And then it had, like, an Amazon checked um, sticker here. It is, like, a crease down the middle of the book, which doesn't bother me. I'm not sure if there was a cut error over here. If you guys can see, the cover is, like, cut weirdly. But, uh, yeah, on the front and the back, it's cut really weirdly. So, it was in the used book section of Amazon but it was sold from Amazon um, and I got this for nine dollars and sixty six cents so moving on the next book I got was one that I was like super super excited about because I know that um, Jenna Van Mauwerk here on YouTube she is a Christian book blogging book blogging bookish um, youtuber if that makes sense like she does a lot of videos on biblical fiction and Christian fiction books um, and she is a fan of the Pharaoh's daughter by Misu Andrews. I totally forgot the author's name for a second. Um, so I did end up buying that when I was out in um, Tennessee. So I decided to pick up the sequel, which is Miriam. And I do have a copy of this book, Miriam. I do have an e-arc of this through NetGalley, but I've always wanted a physical copy. I don't know. There's just something about a physical book. I love my e-books. Don't get me wrong. E-books are amazing. I own over 7,000 e-books. If I showed you guys the number, you guys would be like, what? Yeah, I download e-books every 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 day every day just ebooks are my life but there's something about a physical book and I've, I've found that with biblical fiction i prefer them in physical books just because i can write in them i can highlight scriptures and things like that so i got miriam which is a sequel to the pharaoh's daughter which are basically which is basically telling the story of moses through the pharaoh's daughter in the first book which is i guess the one that found um moses in the the basket <laughs> my mind you guys and then Miriam is selling it's kind of giving his story through his sister Miriam if that makes sense I'm not 100% sure if that's true but um yeah so we have this I'm so excited to dive into this after reading Farrell's Daughter actually can I grab Farrell's Daughter yes I can let me grab it for you guys is this it so here is the Farrell's Daughter and now I have the sequel 
Miriam. So I have both of them, and I'm so excited for that. And for Miriam, I did, again, get from the used book section, and I got it for $9.04. So the only thing I find the, a problem with is it has that little dot on the bottom, which is fine, but, like, the edges of the cover look a bit you know weird and tear but it doesn't bother me i mean whatever um and then this next book oh my god so i got this next book on a real steal you guys like i wasn't expecting to get it at the price that i got it at you guys do not understand the okay so this book i got for 5.94 keep in mind shipping was $3.99. This was like new used book from the Amazon book section, but it was only a dollar ninety-five, you guys. A dollar ninety-five. So basically I only paid a dollar ninety-five plus the four dollars shipping because there was no prime shipping. And then with tax it came out to um six dollars and thirty-three cents total. So I got a lineage of grace by Francine Rivers, and I'm so excited. I do want her Sons of Encouragement series, which is kind of the same thing as this. This is um, five books in one. They tell the story of Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, Bathsheba, and Mary, and they each come with their own kind of personal study guide discussion questions. And you guys, I freaked out because one, it was a dollar ninety-five, and I was a little concerned only because I know they have questions, and I didn't want it to be written in. This is not written in at all, but when I say that the discussion questions in this book are serious, they call it Seek and Find, or what is it? Yeah, they call it the Seek and Find section. So, it's called Seek and Find, and you get like a little note from, I don't know, whoever, I guess, wrote the questions. And, like, they're really in-depth questions. Like, these are literally the questions, they give you scriptures in them, and they go for a few, like, five or six pages, so, like... Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. Like, this is crazy. All of this is, like, the discussion personal study question based off of the story and the text. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's, like, 12 pages of, like, questions. And it's an in-depth study. And, I mean, you guys, I literally paid $1.95. And it says condition used like new. The only problem is that the pages are yellowed, which I don't mind yellowed pages. So that was a steal for me, you guys, like a steal. So definitely check out the Amazon used section um, when you're purchasing books. I mean, I normally, when I do used books, I normally get them in very good or like new condition. Sometimes depending on the, the like the description for good condition, I will get good. But, um, you can find some amazing steals. So, I'm excited about those. So, those were the three books that I purchased off of Amazon. Then, Walmart. Walmart has amazing Christian books. Um, I don't know about you guys' Walmart, but my Walmart has a very small book section. Very small. But I, if you guys have ever noticed, um, by, like, the cashier, the cash registers and stuff in the self-checkout, they have those little round, spinnable, um stands with books on them and a lot of them are christian books so i always go and browse but a lot of them i always have already gotten from like B H books or lifeway or something like that from book reviews um book blogging program so you know these three though however caught my attention so the first thing i got was prayers to share 100 pass along notes for joy and what they are are just little quotes in scriptures um, literally just quotes and scriptures throughout that you can insert and I want to start using these um, when I send out like giveaway packages or orders and stuff like that because on the back the back is all pink which I'm fine with because the colors for daughter of increase are pink lavender white rose gold and black so I could always like write my little hand write my little note on the back but then on the other side you would have like something inspirational with a scripture to go with it and I just think that is so amazing and um, I think the scriptures are all written in like different translations, NKJV, NCV, HCSB, the NLT, yeah, the message. They have different translations, different little um, encouraging quotes, like, pray. what it is is, okay, so you get a prayer, a scripture, and then something like an encouraging quote from um, someone influential. So I got these, and I just think they're so cute, so I can't wait to start using these soon. Then I got devotionals, because we know I like devotionals. 
This one I got actually for a recent one. I got it because it's pretty. I'll show you guys in a short second. And um, also because the way it's set up, I want to use it as a resource for when I'm doing, uh, I want to do like a scripture study because that's pretty much how this is set up. Um, it gives you, okay, so here's the, the book that I'm talking about. It's the Pocket Bible Devotional for Women. First of all, gorgeous. And I was already sold on like the floral prints, but what really, really sold me, you guys, the edges. All floral. The back, also floral. Just <laughs> everything. Now this is $14.99. Um, this right here was 10 bucks, but this right here was $14.99. Sometimes I think that, you know, some of these books are expensive for no reason. But this is set up, it is a yearly devotion, 366 days. But what I like about it is that it gives you like a topic. So it talks about controlling your anger. It is dated, but I wouldn't focus on that. I would really just look at um, the topic that it has. So, okay, here we go. God will never forsake you. So if I'm interested in understanding scriptures about God not forsaking me, they give you scriptures, all these scriptures here, and then they give you like a small little devotional here. I really didn't buy for the devotional, honestly. I just got it because of the scriptures. Um, I plan to work on, I'm working on a project. And I find it hard sometimes to find specific scriptures that I'm looking for. So books like these really help me out. I would have preferred if this had its index, you know, like a table of content so I could easily flip. But, um... I just think it's great for if I want to do like a quick blog post or if I want to do a quick Instagram post and I need scriptures or something or a topic, I could use this. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm probably not going to read the devotionals. They're really, really small and short, literally like a paragraph, but I mainly got it specifically for the top portion with the scriptures and the titles. That's it. Um, the next thing I got was a, another devotional. Now I have this, the first devotional from this company. Let me grab it. So, um, I have this, which is the God is Faithful, my daily devotional from Thomas Nelson. Um, it is a yearly devotional set up in, um, 52 weeks and six days a week where you do the devotional, uh, which I love. I have done this. I've done this much of it so far. Um, and I mean, I highlight, I was highlighting it first and then at one point I think I got even more in depth and was writing. I don't know if I can find one probably can't find one now but um no when i need to find something i can't find it you know that's crazy but i was highlighting and then recently i started taking it a step further and really going in depth with um studying whatever it's talking about and really being able to apply it to myself uh the last time i done this was on may 29th so I need to catch up on it. But um, yeah, these are devotionals written, if I'm not mistaken, mainly by men, which um, it doesn't bother me. I know some women don't like that, but it doesn't bother me just because I really like what they're teaching and what they're talking about in this devotional. But yeah, I think I believe all of these are men. Um, this is edited by Dr. Johnny Hunt, who is uh, from First Baptist Woodstock in Woodstock, Georgia. But uh, yeah, it is a devotional and they have a new one that I saw which is called Grace, Hope, and Love. Um, and I love the first one so much that I said, you know what, why not get this one? And it's really pretty. Um, and it's set up in the same format of it being 52 weeks and you doing six days a week of um, devotional, if you guys can see. And I just, I really love the meat and the information you get within the actual devotionals. Um, they're very much relatable and realistic to me. So I, I got this. And um, again, this was $20. They are expensive. I think this one was also... $20. I don't even know because it's the sticker. Up. Yeah, $20 as well. So you can get these off of christianbook.com. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link to both of these down below because I know a lot, of guys, a lot of you guys are like interested in, in this devotional. Again, it's written by all men, but um, it doesn't bother me. I love the meat that it provides. And um, I haven't found that I disagree with anything as of yet from the first one. So I figured why not get the second one. Moving along. The last few books are all review books that I received for review, and I'm so behind on my review books. It's ridiculous. But, um, again, like I said last video, I'm being a lot more smarter about the review books that I accept, um, just because I used to feel like I just had to accept them when a company would contact me with, like, reviews that are, review books that are available. I'm like, okay, yeah, I want that one, that one, that one. But in real, being honest, I won't even read majority of the ones that I requested. Like, some of them I have, have already given away to people who would like to read them. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to do, like, another sweep through my library and, uh, my, my personal library and figure out which books I know I'm never going to read, um, that I can just get the ebook for if I want and, um, either donate them to my library, 
do a small book sale or do a book giveaway. I'm not 100% sure yet, um, but I'm going to work on that this summer. But um, the first one is called Accessing the Riches of Heaven. It's by Patricia King. And um, yeah, it says, Keys to Experience God's Lavish Provision. It sounds really good. I'm going to give the first two chapters a try to see if I like it. It's a really thin book, not too hazy. This one is from Chosen from Baker Books. Um, so we have this book. This next book I got through a book blogging company called Just Reads Tour. I have been working with them quite a lot and I love the books that they have. They do a lot of like Christian fiction, biblical fiction, some historical fiction. And um, I got this contemporary romance which is from Revel and it is kind of like a clean Christian fiction romance. Um, and it's called Wooing Caddy McCaffrey, McCaffrey by Bethany Turner. And it just it looks really fun and cute to read. So we have this. The next book I have is The Number of Love by Rosanna M. White, and it's the first book in the Code Breakers. I've heard a lot of people rave about this author. I've never read this author. This is historical fiction. Um, so, yeah, it has to do with a great war, England, um, cracking German telegrams. There is a woman named Margaret de Wild, and uh, yeah. So, I'm excited. It's a romance with, I guess... I don't want to say, um, intrigue, not, not intrigue, <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so there's spies, there's war, yeah, so political intrigue and all of that, I'm excited to dive into this, and, um, again, I am trying to expand my historical fiction genre and collection, because I noticed that I do like historical fiction from specific authors, so we're gonna give this author a go and see if I enjoy it. This next book is called God's Hour Anchor by Deborah Bailey, I got this from B&H Books, I feel like I'm missing books that I don't know where they are, so I'm not even going to attempt to look for them. Um, but yeah, it's a 30-day devotional. Again, you guys know how I feel about my devotionals, and it's really, really pretty, and I really, really love the ribbon on this because it's almost like a topish tan color. It's not coming up true on camera, but it's really, really nice. Um, and I love that you go, okay, you guys know how I feel about those interactive books. This is one of those because it gives you, like, questions for thoughts. You get prayer, um, and there, I think this is, like, about a few pages. Yeah, it's, it's not one of those little skimpy devotionals where you get a page or a page and a half. This one is like three to six, three to four, three to five pages, I'll say, um, of like inspirational information. And um, this says, this one is on day 16, pain and suffering, and it comes from Job. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to dive into this. I mean, this really just sounds like something I need. It says, do you feel tossed by the storm? of their of your struggle wondering how to stay anchored in truth and hope as you walk beside um yourself walk beside a friend you know just anybody who is dealing with struggles um do you want to know about truth and hope and being anchored in the word of god so yeah this one is specifically for loved ones with addictions but i feel like this would work for anybody whether you're you have an addiction problem or not um so yeah i'm excited about this the last three are from book look bloggers from Zondervan. They are changing their um, blog program a bit. Uh, I'm not sure when. I think it's either going to be this month. I think this month they're supposed to be changing it, but I did get three books before they switched up their program. So I have the Stop and Go devotional um, by Diane Stortz, illustrated by Hannah Marks, and this is a children's family style devotional. And I think this is the cutest little devotional ever. It's so cute. And um, basically it takes the red light, green light, game and turns it into a devotional which i think is amazing it goes through the new testament and the old testament um and basically you get your title your scripture base your photos here um then for red you stop to spend time with god so it says stop and read and you basically will read like a children's kind of version of the chapter that they're focusing on which is so cute then it says yellow is for slow, so you are to think about who he is. So it's basically think and talk. It talk, it basically gives you some stuff and then some questions that you can ask your children. And then a little small prayer for the children. And then green means go live for him today, so you get an activity. So um, you basically can do like an art project or something throughout the day with your relatives or family. Then it gives you a scripture and something like to remember about God, which I think is so cute. It's the cutest little thing ever, and I can't wait to incorporate this with my son. Because we, my son really loves the word of God, and he loves interactive things that get him to read the word, and then write the word, and then also have an activity outside of, like, reading and writing. So, I love that. Um, the next one is a 
little, I, I don't want to call it a devotional book, but it's kind of set up like a devotional. It's called Prayers for You. It is from Thomas Nelson, and it's just a prayer book with um just cute little quotes and photography, and I love it so much. I'm trying to find that one page that I really did love, um, but I'm probably not going to be able to find it now. But there's this pretty church. It's a really pretty church. You get, photo you get photographs, you get a quote, and then... Um, well, that's a prayer. <laughs> you get quotes. Um, there are also scriptures throughout as well. So I just, I like this. This is what I consider like a coffee book table where you can sit on your coffee table in your kitchen. You can sit it in your living room. You can sit it on your bedside. If you have like your own personal library, you can leave it up there. This is one of those books that I think is great for people just to read when they're at your house. So we have this one. And the last book is also devotional. <laughs> I mean, is it, if it's not a devotional it's a biblical fiction book or some type of novel because those are the books that i like but this one is another good one it's i, I notice a lot of these like devotionals are about comforting and um saying fast to god so this one is called the book of comforts genuine encouragement for hard times it's by fairies fairies Werner, and wilder <laughs> which sounds weird um but yeah i'm going to give you their actual names so it's by Caleb Fairies, Rebecca Fairies, Caitlin Wernett, and Simone Wilder. Um, so it gives you comfort in God alone, comfort in praise, comfort when you're in dark places, comfort in the restoration, and comfort in truth. And it's literally just a devotional, but I love that there's like calligraphy throughout. Um, hopefully you guys saw that. There's calligraphy, there's devotional, and uh, you know, the devotionals are not skimpy again what i also like is that they also will give you hebrew words with hebrew spelling hopefully you guys can see this right here yeah so this is one of those books again where the devotional is very much in depth it pulls you in and um it's not skimpy some of them are skimpy like this but some of them will be like two pages long of like information with definitions and stuff like that um again this is another one of those coffee book tables in my opinion you can leave it on your table let someone read it when they're over um, you can just put the bookmark into the day of the, like the the day of the week that you're in, and then um, put it on your coffee table. And if someone comes over, they can just pop it open, read that devotional for the day if they're looking for something to inspire them. I just I love coffee book tables. I just have this vision, right? When my family and I move, um, we are looking to move into a bigger place and get a house, a one family house, and um, with a lot more room for all of us. And my mother and I want to have like a library slash office just because we are both heavily involved in ministry. My mother has already has been an evangelist for years now. Um, she's an evangelist. Um, uh, she works closely with the pastors. You know, she does finances for the church. I now am going to be elevated as an evangelist. I work in the dance ministry. Um, you know, I work as a part of the administration team. I work with my first lady. I'm going to be soon working with my pastor on some things. My, my bishop, excuse me, my bishop on some things. I also work with the other pastor at the church um so like i'm involved in a lot so we definitely do want like a office space slash library and i just i it's, it's gonna be amazing so this is one of those books that i could just leave on the table so yeah but um yeah super long video i apologize that this video was so long but i just wanted to ramble on about these amazing books because i like books you guys know how much i love my books so yes um that is it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one